Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown battle. Now, um, we recovered recently from the, um, f from those terrible uh, Pokemon sprites that were drawn yesterday as a April Fool's ha prank, you know, and we can get into the battle. Now, uh, Wobbuffet's in here, and I know that these things like to mirror code or something, uh, but my opponent goes for the Encore, and uh, Shadow Tag does not let me uh, switch out, which means that I have to put up with the incoming Heatran of course. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see my uh, opponent's team, uh, but um, that Heatran, I'm going to tell you right now, deserved its cover as the troll of a day, because ladies and gentlemen, that thing was such a serious problem. A unique set, but I did not expect to be trolled by Heatran that much. So anyway, um, Heatran uh, is going to go for the... Um, uh, you know, he tormented me so I cannot use Hydro Pump twice, so I was hoping to kill it with a, um, what do you call it, anyway, so, um, Heatran's gonna go for the substitute again, and, the uh, thing is that I, he switches, my opponent switches out to Sylveon, who can take special hits from Florigus all day long, look at that, that was a critical hit, and that barely did, like, what, 42%? So, um, I go for another Moonblast, I get a special uh, attack drop, and my opponent goes for the Wish. Obviously, gonna pass it on to Heatran, or Protect, for uh, getting it to itself. So, the reason why I went into Brelum is because I could, I was very confident that he was gonna switch into Heatran, so I could take it out with a uh, Mach Punch, but apparently that thing is more of a threat than, um, it's uh, more threatening to me than I to it. So he pulls a double switch from Zygarde back into Sylveon because it can take any special hit whatsoever. So I went for the Will-O-Wisp to try and burn that thing. I missed, but I did manage to get the Toxic off. But it doesn't matter because uh, Sylveon looks like it's the heal bellow of this team. I have my own um, aromatherapy, you know, healer and stuff, so anyway, um, I sent in my floor, I guess, I saw the heal bell coming, so I thought that I could wall, uh, the Sylveon with my floor, guess. so my opponent's gonna go for the protect, I'm gonna go for the moon blast, um, nothing happens here, I just wasted one PP, anyway, so I'm gonna go for the wish, and I'm gonna pass it on to my, uh, upcoming Rotom, uh, because it has lost, uh, you know, some health, and I did not want to be dealing with that thing, so, out comes Troll Tran again, and, uh, the thing is that it's too bad that he managed to pass that, um, sorry about that, he managed to pass the, um, the wish, but, anyway, so, back into Sylveon, this thing is a problem, because if I do not get rid of Sylveon, I cannot status things effectively, so I have to find a way to kill it, and the only way for me to kill that thing is if I switch into Excadrill, which uh, this um, Sylveon is very weak to, so I predicted the switch into um, uh, into Heatran, so I wanted to set up my rocks, and I know that my opponent has no spinner, so those rocks are going to be their looks like permanently, but then I forgot that he has Mandibuzz, and it's most likely going to have the, um, what do you call it, uh, oh, the defog. Anyway, Moonblast just k gets a bit of damage uh, over half, uh, but does not kill Zygarde, so another Earthquake would finish me off, but thanks again, uh, another brilliant example of why I really, really like Rotom Wash and I hate facing it is because of this thing is one of the best uh, things you can find in the game. So I was expecting a switch into maybe Mandibuzz or a Masquerain. I, I'm not sure, but the thing is that I wanted to get a status off this thing. So I'm going to send an Excadrill and try and scare him off again. So he's going to go for the Wish and I will go for the Earthquake because I know that um, even if he decides to switch into Heatran, he will lose uh, something. So the thing is, out comes Mandibuzz, and I know that these things pack the foul play, and I'm going to get out of there right now. So the thing is, I did kill the heal battler, I killed the wish supporter, and that is good news, that's going to be important. So my opponent's going to go for the uh, switch out into Wobbuffet, and I am going to go for the toxic on it, and that is a good thing, because now that his heal battler is dead, Wobbuffet is going to die to toxic poison. And uh, I'm going to go for the Volt switch here, it's the only way I can switch out, I do not want to be dealing with Wobbuffet right now. So I'm going to go into Galvantula. I could kill it uh, with the Bug Buzz, but the thing is that um, I want to keep my Focus Sash intact. I'm going to go for the Sticky Web. I want him to 
palm cone me into the sticky web so I can switch out into uh, Rotom no problem because I know that it's going to go for Heatran speaking of which there he is so I did get my hazards up both of them and um, I can safely switch out now into Rotom that it doesn't matter so um, out comes Rotom Wash and uh, he's going to go for the whole thing we're back to square one again Rotom is a very important counter against this Heatran but the thing is that this miss was so important that it cost me 50 turns literally this battle is 100 turns to you guys watching this I actually salute your patience because you guys must be freaking heroes anyway so uh, either that or we really had nothing to do this uh, afternoon so anyway um, or whatever time it is that you guys are watching that so I'm gonna go for the aromatherapy but my opponent's gonna predict that like a boss and you know spit some sludge over my floor guess again so thing is um, if my floor guest dies I'm pretty much in a very bad position because I really need this thing into uh, intact because uh, floor guest is kind of important for my teams and um, the fact that it can pass on uh, you know uh, we're actually just you know I'm healing off the toxic he's just you know toxicking me again I all I managed to do was get a wish thing is that he ran completely walls floor guess and there's nothing I can do here and I am running out of PP for um, uh, hydro pump the thing is that it is a very inaccurate move and that you saw that it cost me greatly with Heatran uh, before if I was able he torments me again which means I cannot use his um, the um, the hydro pump a second time so I'm forced to volt switch out and send in my excadrill to scare him off but he goes for the uh, substitute because I knew that he wasn't going to go for the um, lava plume so uh, I went back into Rotom Wash and he's gonna go for the lava plume again and this time I decided to do something different um, I knew he was gonna torment me so I decided to go for the volt switch maybe to damage and break the substitute but it's not enough to break he trans sub so I knew that he was gonna go for the torment and uh, the thing is basically Heatran was such a troll that I had one choice. The only choice I had was to PP stall it. And um, good news is that he didn't go for the toxic this turn, so I can actually stall uh, some toxic um, PP from it. I mean, the thing is that that Heatran was really looking, uh, really wanted to uh, poison my Florgus, but I could have gone for uh, my Excadrill, you know, predicting the um, hit, you know, toxic. But the thing is that um, since he's behind a sub, I cannot be taking such a risk. I would be losing Excadrill for no reason at all. And I'm kind of counting on Excadrill to kill the Heatran because, ladies and gentlemen, that thing is a serious problem. And aside from Brelum, I have nothing else that can kill it effectively. So, um, Rotom Wash is going to take another Lava Plume. Thankfully, I didn't get burned at all or anything like that. But I got a juicy wish pass from Florgus. And I'm going to go for the Volt Switch and break the Substitute, which is fantastic. Fantastic. I'm going to switch into my uh, floor guest because I know that he is going to go for the uh, torment predicting my hydro pump but the thing is that I really want to heal my Pokemon and he's going to go for the toxic again that 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 Heatran was such a troll it was so um, it was so annoying that really uh, there was nothing that I could do there so anyway Rotom Wash comes back in my opponent's gonna go for the substitute uh, I'm gonna try and break the substitute with a uh, hydro pump but I'm gonna miss again which is bad which is very bad because uh, I was so close to killing Heatran earlier in this game but uh, apparently he found his way through now um, I'm going to switch into Florigus, which is already poisoned, and I'm going to stall some more Toxic, because once Heatran is out of Toxic, I can most likely, you know, troll the hell out of that thing, so as long as uh, Rotom and Florigus are alive, uh, I can actually uh, do stuff, so he predicted me to go for the, um, for, um, uh, for the aromatherapy but I went for uh, protect nonetheless so he's gonna go for the toxic again uh, this is basically a troll war because there's nothing I can do here uh, but um, you know stall him out but the thing is that I'm also running out of aromatherapy so I really need to uh, use them wisely now the thing is that when he decides to attack I've got the perfect counter for it Rotom wash 
which is kind of bulky. Now, I do hit the substitute. I managed to... But, you know, this is basically square one all over again. So, um, I'm going to go for the vault switch. Switch out of here so I can go into my floor. I guess I should have gone for Excadrill, but the thing is, he went into a substitute, so it's a good thing I didn't go into Excadrill after all. So, thing is, why am I playing so confidently with floor? I guess because I know that his four moves do not have Flash Cannon in them, so the thing is that he trying is basically screwed because he cannot play around with my guy. So, I'm going to go for the Vault Switch yet again because um, there's nothing that he trying can do to my guys. And uh, he's going to go for the Toxic, and I'm going to switch into Floor Guess. Uh, maybe my opponent predicted me to go for a Hydro Pump, but I'm saving those for later because I really need to hit that, hit that Heatran. So the thing is, I'm trying to break it with Moon Blasts, but I then recall that it was four times resisted, so there's not much I can do. So uh, I'm going to go for a uh, switch out into Rotom Wash because I predict the tox uh, the uh, I predicted the Toxic, but Lava Plume, uh, me taking damage from the Lava Plume is uh, still okay, I guess, because I can pretty much roll that thing. So, I break the substitute yet again, and um, I'm going to send in my Breloom, because I know that he's not going to be taking any chances. Now, I'm in a position where I can scare the heat run away, and bring my op make my opponent get his hands dirty, and he sends in Mandibuzz. So, I'm going to go for the Mach Punch, but it's not strong enough, so I can two hit KO it, plus it has leftovers, so thing is that I do not want to risk my um my Breloom. But the thing is, my opponent went for the Defog, and I did not see that coming at that time, really. Uh, so, my hazards are away, and that is going to be a problem. A serious, serious problem. So, uh, he predicted my Volt Switch, and prelayed Psygarde very well here. So, um, he's going to go for the Extreme Speed. Uh, I do pack the Will-O-Wisp, but I, you know, I didn't want to activate Flash Fire on that Heatran. That's why. I, I mean, I knew that he knew that, uh, it was basically a prediction game, and I did not want him in any uh, any way for him to, uh, you know, get a flash fire boost from my Will-O-Wisp. Anyway, so I'm going to pull out a double here and go back into Rotom, because my opponent's going to go for the Earthquake, and I'm immune, thankfully. Now, all I'm going to have to do here is stall Zygarde out of his uh, PP. Now, all he can do to me is extreme speed, but that is no problem. I'm going to go for the Toxic, because... Um, th there's nothing I can do here. So the thing is, I'm going to stay in with Rotom Wash because I completely wall it. Uh, my opponent's going to go into Heatran, though. Uh, I'm going to switch out into my Excadrill, and that means that my opponent has to switch out. But I went for the Earthquake just in case it was going to send out something else. But of course it was going to send out Mandibuzz. Why did I uh, even uh, go? But I was actually predicting him you know, to predict my switch into something else so that he could go for the Substitute. But the uh, thing is that anyway. So he goes with the foul play with Mandibuzz, but the thing is that it's not going to be able to cut it because Rotomosh is not that offensive, so anyway. In comes Zygarde. I wanted to go for the Will-O-Wisp and, you know, cripple that Mandibuzz a little bit, but the thing is that Zygarde is back in, and he's back to square one. He's completely walled. He's going to lose his Zygarde. He predicted me to switch into Excadrill, for, you know, maybe predicting me to over-predict, but anyway. I'm going to stay here with Rotom Watch because there's nothing he can do to me. Extreme Speed won't be doing anything, so I'm not going to waste any uh, more uh, Hydro Pumps. I have one left at this point. That's what I remember. So, um... My opponent dies to Toxic. I managed to stall him out, and uh, in comes Wobbuffet now. I'm going to go for the Vault Switch, and it's not going to kill the Wobbuffet completely, but the thing is that I can send in uh, my floor guess, and it's going to die to poison right now. So, uh, Wobbuffet's out of the way, which is kind of uh, good. It's going to die next turn. So, I went for the end of aromatherapy, you know, because uh, I really need my floor guess to be healthy in order to uh, stall out the Heatran. Now, Wobbuffet is dead, and all I have to do now is manage that Heatran again. So, we're back to square one. He's going to go for the Torment or the Toxic. Yeah, he went for the Torment, as a matter of fact. So all uh, he can do right now is take a Hydro Pump. I don't know how he took that, but he's going to go for the Toxic. And um, he's just going to completely troll me. That was my last Hydro Pump. There was nothing I could do to that heat ran now with Rotom. And all, he can go for the Substitute. He can do some damage. So uh, he goes for the Toxic, predicting me to go into Floor Guess, but he misses, which is thankful. Now, 
Now I'm going to go for the Thun Wave. You see, the reason is I really want that Heatran. Uh, I was really hoping to get some um, para hacks here. And um, I took a very big gamble in switching into my Florgus. And thankfully, uh, he goes for the Lava Plume, you know, trying to kill my bug. But the thing is that um, as long as I have Florgus and Rotom alive, the thing is that. Uh, uh, he won't be able to do a lot of damage. So basically, it's who stalls out who first. So the good news is that I managed to get the special defense drop and get a uh, wish up, which is cool. So he manages to toxic me again, nonetheless. But that is, that that's irrelevant. So now I'm going to switch into my Breloom, and he's going to get paralyzed again. I was predicting him to go for a lava plume, but at that moment I was taking my chances and I was successful. So I'm going to go for a Mach punch again. I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot of damage, but I know that these things like to pack a foul place. I'm going to switch into floor guess which not only resists it, but um, there's not much Mandibuzz can do here. So thing is with Mandibuzz, there's a problem. Uh, he's going to go for the knockoff, obviously, and knock off my leftovers because floor guess has a, um, is actually trolling the Mandibuzz seriously here. But the thing is, Mandibuzz will not be taking a Moonblast that kindly. So I'm going to go and be able to finally take out Mandibuzz. It could have been a problem. It was very annoying. So all he has left is that Heatran and I'm gonna go for the wish and he's gonna go for toxic yet again but um, he there is uh, he, he's severely crippled because with his paralysis I can do some damage and then Parahax strikes yet again and uh, all he manages is to get some health back but at least he doesn't have a sub set up so I'm gonna send in my Rotom Wash uh, he's gonna go for the Lava Plume there's not anything there's nothing he can do to me at this point so I am going to switch uh, I'm gonna go for the okay. I had one hydro pump left. That's weird. Anyway, so that w apparently was my last one. As you can see on the top left, th this is 93 turns. Uh, so thing is, uh, I bring him very close yet to dying. So I'm gonna have to send in my Brelum right now, and uh, he's gonna go for the torment. I did a very good play there, and the thing is that uh, now with uh, him not having the substitute, I expected him to go for like a toxic or something, but uh, or maybe a parahax so I could actually be behind the sub, but um, I go for the Mach Punch and kill the Heatran, which is good news, and the bad news is that Masquerade has come in, and it is somewhat of a problem, so I'm forced to switch out here because there's nothing I can do, and my opponent goes for the Quiver Dance, and uh, he gets a stat boost, but the thing is that uh, that won't be a whole pro big problem. I can go for the uh, Vault Switch, but the thing is that he is severely boosted special wise and there's nothing I can do to take him on but Talon Flame that I really want to keep that alive you know just in case so um, he's gonna go for the bug buzz he's finally gonna kill my Rotom Wash and that is the only thing that he will be taking out um, so um, out comes floor guess I'm gonna toxic stall uh, he misses the hydro pump thankfully which is good so uh, he's getting worn down by toxic and stuff so um, I'm gonna go for the protect, you know, to stall him out of uh you know, hydro pumps and whatnot. I resist the bug buzz, so hydro pump is all he has. And I'm going to do the switch out and I'm gonna pull in Galvantula. I have the focus slash, so whatever he does, he's gonna die from the life orb and the toxic inevitably leaving me with a good five oh. And um that was the match for me. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Um comment, subscribe, and I will be posting some more of these. I'm actually enjoying the OU metagame, and uh, even if it takes 100 turns, I think that we can make something out of this. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.